When handling flammable liquids that have a flash point lower than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the containers must be bonded and grounded while dispensing the liquid. This includes non-metallic containers, even though the construction material may not be conductive. A static charge could still be generated by flowing liquids. Bonding and grounding involves providing an electrical pathway between a dispensing container, a receiving container, and an earth ground. This pathway helps eliminate the buildup of static electricity by allowing it to dissipate into the ground safely. If containers are not properly bonded and grounded, a static spark could ignite the vapors and cause an explosion. Any static charge between two containers must be equalized or eliminated. Both OSHA and the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, have bonding and grounding requirements when transferring flammable liquids. OSHA's requirements for handling flammable liquids are found in 1910.106 of the regulations. In addition, NFPA 30 covers bonding and grounding. Note that OSHA adopted the 1969 version of NFPA 30. Employers are not specifically required to ground a flammable storage cabinet, but most manufacturers provide a way to do so. If workers will dispense flammable liquids while the container is inside the cabinet, then it should be grounded using the manufacturer's grounding point.